Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cryptic Chevy channel. Have you ever wondered if there were options in your vehicle's settings menu that you could take advantage of? Secret, hidden options that you would not have thought existed. Well, there's some cool options in the Chevy Silverado menu settings that I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of. This particular truck is my 2023 Chevy Silverado RST, 6.2 liter Redline Edition, and similar uh, options, if not all the same, will be available in yours prior to 2023 if it has the same uh, 13 inch infotainment system in it. Right here, I'm gonna show you, we're on the main setting screen and I've done a video in the past, but one of the coolest features, I think, if you go into the settings menu, your vehicle options, scroll down to your remote lock, unlock and start, is your remote window operation. That's gonna allow you from your key fob to hit your unlock button once, hit it again a second time and hold it. And it's gonna roll down all the windows on your vehicle so you can cool down the cabin. Um, and even if you didn't wanna do that, uh, it's a pretty cool feature just to, just to show off. But some of the other uh, features that I'd like to explain in your remote lock, unlock and start menu is your remote unlock light feedback, which is gonna flash your parking lights. Uh, you can have that on or off. It could be easier for you to locate your vehicle if you're in a large parking lot with a lot of cars. Your remote lock feedback, I have set to horn. You can have it off uh, when you hit the button twice to lock all your doors. Uh, it will sound the horn so you, you know it's locked. Uh, pretty cool function to have if you don't have the Chevy app that uh, you can send the signal to lock and get the feedback directly on your phone knowing that uh, your vehicle is secure. Remote door unlock, you can have this set for driver or all door. I set it for driver. Most of the time I'm the only one getting in and out of the truck. Your remote start. When you remote start your vehicle, you can make sure that uh, your seats power on to heat as well. If you don't have that option set, your, your seats are not going to power on. Passive door unlock means that uh, if you have a passenger come in, hit the button on the outside door handle um, or driver, it's gonna unlock all the doors. Your passive door lock is gonna lock all the doors with a hit of that button as well. Your remote vehicle alert, uh, if you leave your remote sitting in the truck and you get out and lock it, it's gonna give you an audible alert letting you know that uh, the remote is still in the vehicle. Uh, if the remote is uh, removed from the vehicle and you leave it running, if you have this set, uh, it will alert you to let you know that. Comfort and convenience is to adjust your chime volume. Sometimes, you know, it could be a little loud. Uh, I adjusted mine down as far as it would go from the factory uh, so that all those alerts and everything that happen or seatbelt alerts, all that stuff is uh, turned down low. Rear seat reminder is gonna show you, or show you on your dash to check your rear seat. Obviously, if you have kids or pets, uh, not that any of us would leave them in the vehicle and forget that we uh, brought them with us when we left the house, but if you need that reminder, it's there to take advantage of. Buckle to drive is gonna remind you on the dash to buckle your seatbelt before you take off. Climate, air quality. Now these are going to be options that uh, you're gonna wanna have on, especially for winter, uh, if you're in an area where you're getting some snow or some pretty cold weather, uh, so that you can come out to a nice warm vehicle 
with uh, snow melted possibly on the outside if you had any uh, and your um, auto rear defog is how your driver and passenger side mirror heat functions are controlled so when you turn those on if you weren't aware that's how that is turned on since there's not a separate function on your dash or in your menu to turn that on on its own it's uh turned on with the uh, rear defrog collection detection systems these are for your safety functions on your dash automatic emergency braking it will alert when you're coming close to the vehicle that's traveling in front of you uh, it does detect front passion pedestrians as well so that it will uh, alert you and break in the event that the vehicle detects a pedestrian uh, crossing the street. Lighting, your vehicle locator lights, uh, your park lights, you can have them set on to flash so that when you utilize the remote your interior cabin lights also, which I have uh, turned off so that when I unlock, uh, all the lights aren't on or lock and then slowly fade out. Power door locks. When you hit your lock inside, it's going to lock all doors. Delay door lock. If you hit your remote, I mean, when you're set to lock the doors, you hit it. You can set that delay if you wanted to. Now, another cool thing here you may not have known about, and this is cool, even if you don't have a trailer, just to check on the functionality of your brake lights, reverse lights, park lights, is if you go to that trailer lighting option, you can do a light test which will cycle through all your exterior lights to show you that they are functioning properly. Excellent tool to have. Even when your uh, vehicle little, gets a little bit older and you may need to replace any of the uh, bulbs or lights on the outside, perfect test for it. Wi-Fi hotspot. Now I'm gonna show you what I just did there. So if you want to move around any of your options that are in both of these screens, if you hold it down for a second, you can go and change them to the order of the appearance that you would like. My Chevy is just going to show you uh, if you have OnStar, if you have the app that you can control, you can manage some of those options in here. Audio settings for your Apple CarPlay. And if you didn't know how to get to the actual music settings for your sound controls, once you hit that audio going to be that little settings button up in the uh, top right hand corner there you're going to be able to adjust your equalizer and your uh, fader and your balance between all of your speakers inside you got your google assistant news podcast now you can add options onto the screen which i haven't done any more than what I have here just because these are the ones that pertain to me the ones that I use the most I do have to use for uh, my phone my daughter functions great but uh, that's just to show you some of the uh, options that are available on the Silverados like I said with the 13 inch screen if you were wondering or had no idea how to get to some of those hidden 
features that are on here that if you really didn't go in and check around for those when you got your vehicle you might have had it for a certain amount of time now that uh those are things that you may not even have thought about but uh go in there check it out you got some cool things to uh take advantage of but uh thank you for uh for watching it's uh it's a little cold outside so i'm trying to continue to bring some valuable content and i appreciate everyone tuning in please like and subscribe.